Welcome back everybody to our intermediate and advanced civil 3D training series here. In the previous videos we went over the transparency commands and we're going to move on to another uh, very useful function with, within civil 3D that some of us know about. Even if you're a beginner this will definitely help you. This might step back into more of the beginner civil 3D stuff, however uh, it's a fundamental knowledge of how civil 3D works and how you can potentially even um, do your job quicker, more accurate, and easier. The feature we're going to be taking a look at is automatic layering. Now one of the very good perks about Civil 3D is when we create objects, we don't need to really worry about putting them on layers. Civil 3D can handle this mostly for us. Uh, if we're drawing polylines and text, obviously when we draw polylines and text we have to layer those manually ourselves. I'm talking about civil 3D objects, points, surfaces, parcels, grading objects, alignments, profiles, any civil 3D object, including the labels that go with it, tables that get created can go automatically to uh, a layer. And as we create a surface, we don't have to worry about, like I said. Now I have two drawings open here, two, uh, two templates. I've just opened the default civil 3D metric template and I've opened the one that uh, I, I generally tend to use. We'll take a quick look at the Civil 3D one first though. So to access the automatic layers, and if I click on uh, my layer command button first to open up my list of layers, we see that there are a whole bunch of layers in, uh, sorry, in the template here already. This is a brand new drawing, and um, there's a whole bunch of layers in here that if we try to purge them, we can't get rid of them. All of these are built into the template. Some of them we may be able to purge, some of them we may not be able to purge. So if I type in purge and go to the layers option, there's, there's a few that we can get rid of. So I'm just gonna purge them all and, and see that we have a completely blank drawing. There, however, are uh, layers still in here. And these are all built into the automatic layering. So again, we can access them from the drop down, drawing utilities, drawing settings, and it will open up this dialog box I have here. Now this is the edit drawing settings. Um, if we wanted to type in at the command line edit drawing settings or underscore AECC edit drawing settings, that will also bring us into this dialog box. Yours will probably open up on units and zone. However, if we click on the object layers tab, this is the automatic layering. Now I have some stuff set up in my template that Autodesk does not have set up in theirs, which is fine and we'll cover that when I flip over to my template. But if we take a look here, when we make an alignment in the Civil 3D default template, the layer is automatically going to be placed on C-Road. Any labeling to go with that alignment is going to be placed on the C-Road-Text layer, and these will be made for you. Every alignment you make is going to be on the C-Road. Every label that gets put on any of those alignments will be on the C-Road text. And we can scroll down and take a look at feature lines, um, grading, pro, uh, parcels, storm pipes, pressure networks. There, anything Civil 3D, again, like I said, can be automatically layered. And these ones, it's just very basic. So if I make seven alignments, they're all gonna be placed on the C-Road layer. I, I want a bit more control for this when I do my own layering. So I'll quickly flip over to my template here. And if I go just to the model space tab, and I'm gonna access this one this, with the edit drawing settings, just typing in at the command line. And this one opens on automatic layers. If, um, if you haven't, again, units and zone to object layers. I have these set up a little bit differently. So my alignment, my layer is C-ALIN, but if we look a little bit farther to the right here, there's a modifier and a value. Now this modifier will help me organize every single alignment onto its own layer based on what I name it when I create it. 
So my my alignment when I make an alignment is going to C dash A L I N, and then my modifier I can have a suffix which puts uh, appends it to the end of my layer name. I can have a prefix which will append it to the beginning of the layer name, and I have none. Usually I want to keep my C dash A L I N as my my major layer name, and then I have a value of dash star. So what this dash star does is in my layer name, C dash A L I N, when I make a new alignment, and we'll, I'll demonstrate that here in a minute, I want it to up, append it, put a suffix on the end of it, of a dash, so it'll be C dash A L I N dash, and then the star is whatever I name my alignment. So when I go in and create an alignment, and if I name it Highway 50, it will create a layer C dash ALIN dash Highway 50. I've done roughly the same thing, C dash label dash ALIN, where Autodesk has it kind of flipped the other way, ALIN dash LABL. I just like this for organization in my layer list. All my labels are in the same part. All my tables are in this, uh, the same section of my layer list. And I haven't done everything in here. And I've been very selective about adding suffixes to specific items, especially under uh, which one? Section views. When I make sections, I don't want every section to be on its own separate layer. If we make 300 sections, we're getting 300 layers just for the sections. Then we're getting another 300 layers for the labels. So uh, again, it, practice, play around with what you want. Be um, picky on which ones you add suffixes to and which ones you don't. But we can come in here and set up these layers. Now to just quickly demonstrate this, I'm going to draw a polyline. That is way too long. I'm just going to make it 100 meters by 100 meters. And I'm going to create an alignment out of this. So create alignment from polyline. I'm going to select my polyline. We've done this previously. And it comes up to create alignment from objects dialog box. Now we see down here the alignment layer. And if I click on the little page thing, base layer name, C align, it's modified by a suffix of dash star. And the preview we see down here is essentially what we have up above. However, when I start naming this, we can see down here that it appends it with the, the whatever I name the alignment. Now, granted, this is not to any national CAD standards. It should be four letters. However, in large civil drawings, I like to keep myself organized. And um, there's only so many ways to spell alignment or center line for, for when you're using four letters. So the C dash align matches the CAD standards. The Highway 50 center line may not necessarily. Now, when I click OK, if I click on this, we see that C dash align dash highway 50 center line is my layer name. I click on the labels, C dash label dash align, and it's truncated highway 50 center line. If I make another alignment here, and I do the same thing, and we'll name this highway 40 center line, we see it's going to make another layer where the Autodesk template would put them on both, both of them on just C dash A L I N or C dash road or whatever it was. Mine is going to create two separate layers because of that suffix. And again, I can click on this and see highway 40 center line. I can click on this and see highway 50 center line. We have highway 40 center line labels, highway 50 center line labels. So again, the automatic layers, a very, very handy and very useful command that you could just come in and start drafting. You don't have to worry about creating layers for alignments. You don't have to create layers for grading polyline, or sorry, not polylines, you have to do polylines, but corridors and sections and pipes. All of these can be handled automatically with the automatic layering.